Let me take a moment now to introduce you to Pente. I spoke about Pente in my top 10 abstract strategy games list, but now I want to go a, a little bit more in depth uh, so you can learn more about Pente. Now, Pente has been in my family for a long time. Uh, I played this game with my daughter since she's uh, she was five years old. Yes, kids can play this. It's pretty easy to play. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a second. And uh, there's different versions of this game, uh, well, you know, like uh, packaging and stuff. It's the same game. It's just different, different boxes and different boards and things. This is the Deluxe Pente. This is readily available. You, you know, I picked this up at Amazon uh, recently because I have a couple of sets, but they've been beat up over the years. So I, I wanted to get, uh, you know, a new set for me to play this uh, with my daughter and uh, with friends and whoever else wanted to play. So Pente is a classic um, abstract strategy game, okay? It, it came out in the 70s. I mean, I've been playing this game, um, you know, 30 years, approximately. Give or take, okay? Now, the components on this deluxe edition are pretty cool. You have this, uh, you don't have like an actual board. You have this snazzy sort of, uh, you know, uh, this mat, this sort of mouse mat. It's like a rubber mat. Uh, it's very cool. Very nice to play with. You know, very, very neat surface there to play. And uh, you see that, you see that board? You can play Go on this uh, board as well. See? So if you like Go, you can play it on this uh, mat, on this board. Now, this game was um, you know, sort of a variation of Go. Let me read you the back of the box here, and then I'll show you the rest of the components. First introdu introduced in the 70s, Pente is a contemporary strategy uh, game based upon several closely related games that have been popular in Asia for centuries. And I did mention Go. Pente, meaning five in Greek, combines the best elements of all three. The simplicity of Gomoku, the flashy tactics of uh, Ninuki Renju, and the profound strategy of Go. All of these games can also be played on the Pente board, right? It's the same board. So this, uh, this game here comes with these components. Uh, it's a two to four player game, so it comes with four different color uh, beads. Here's, uh, you know, blue and green. You can go to your local craft shop and go nuts with the color of beads, right? Just, you know, if you want pink, go get pink, you know, white, anything. But it comes with four different colors, and uh, it does come with this... Uh, sweet little velour bag but you know i i leave my beads in the plastic bag because look even though you close this bag these beads have a mind of their own they tend to slip out of the bag in the box so even though it comes with these nice uh, velour bags i keep them in the plastic instructions very easy to understand you begin the game by placing, uh, the first player places a bead right in the center, places a piece right in the center there. The second player can then place a bead anywhere they want. Now there's uh, an advanced rule here uh, that uh, if you, you know, because there's a slight advantage to first, uh, the first uh, player, okay? But that's only if you get to that level where, you know, you really have like matched opponents, you know? Otherwise, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but the first player in the advanced rule, and you can just go ahead and play it that way because it's very simple, goes in the center. The second player has to go uh, on, on on this box here or, out, or outside of it. So basically three away from the center. Okay, and that's it. That's the only advanced rule. Just that, that gives, gives the first player a little more room. It, it, just, um, it just works out. But uh, you can place it anywhere, you know, if you're a beginner uh, to Pente. So what's the objective here? The objective is that you're going to be placing these beads on the board, and the first player to get five in a row like that, the, by the way, there's two ways to win. Okay, One winning condition is getting all uh, five uh, pieces in a row, and it can be horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Okay? All you got to do is get five in a row. Second winning condition 
Kapow is capturing five of your opponent's uh, uh, set, uh, you know, set of two. Because this is a perfect example here. Let me show you this. If this is a situation, you're green, your opponent is blue, and you close that out, and again, horizontally, vertically, diagonally, if you have this situation anywhere on the board where you have a piece there, your opponent has two pieces together like that in a straight line, and you close that out, you capture those two pieces. If you capture five sets of these, you win the game. So two winning conditions. Capture five sets or uh, line your pieces up five in a row. Again, diagonally, vertically, horizontally, however you want. And that's it. That's it. That's Pente. So I, I played this game. I introduced this game to my daughter when she was five. And, you know, we still play it today. But even at five years old, she could, you know, she could grasp Pente. So it's a family-friendly game. It's uh, it can be a very uh, heavy, you know, abstract strategy game uh, if you got matched opponents, right? Uh, you can use the board to play Go, you know, in a couple of different uh, Asian games, and uh, very special game uh, to me and my daughter and my family because this has been in our family. The game has been in our family uh, for many, many years. And we've had a tremendous amount of joy and fun from playing Pente. And uh, I wanted to introduce the game to you uh, with a little more detail. So maybe you'll enjoy it too. It's been great for us. So there it is, Pente Deluxe. You can get, uh, you can find probably a couple of, you know, it doesn't have to be Deluxe. You can get a simpler version of this, but you know, this isn't expensive enough where you could just go with the Deluxe. You know, go, go Deluxe. It's a nice set. It's a nice set, right? There's the, there's the bag and the board and everything. Nice set. Love Pente. Go get one.